Historically, the geochemistry of erupted mid-ocean ridge basalts and ocean dialing basalts has been used to constrain the chemical heterogeneity of the depleted mantle and mantle plumes. However, research by Lambert et al. in 2019 on the heterogeneity of the depleted mantle found that the isotopic composition of minerals from lower crustal cumulates preserved greater heterogeneity than locally erupted mid-ocean ridge basalts. Our project applies this to the Hawaiian mantle plume by using lower crustal cumulates brought to the surface during the Hualalai eruption in 1800 to provide an insight into the subvolcanic system and to test whether Hawaiian lower crustal cumulates also reveal greater heterogeneity than their corresponding lavas. To do this, we made qualitative element maps like the one shown here to assess chemical domains within each crystal and identify the areas that could show the greatest heterogeneity across each sample and within crystals. We then collected mineral scale major element data for clinoperoxene and plagioclase crystals using the EDS and WDS SEM. The locations on each sample targeted by the SEM were then targeted for trace element data analysis. Our trace element data, um, as shown by the graphs here, already indicate really promising signs of strong heterogeneity within our samples, which we will verify using isotopic analysis. Our next step is to target regions of our sample for strontium and neodymium isotopic analysis. We will aim to sample areas that have the greatest potential to show heterogeneity according to our trace element data. Studies show that magma mixing in crustal magma chambers can compromise the heterogeneity recorded in eruptive lavas, but our lower crustal cumulates may have managed to avoid excessive mixing and homogenization prior to crystallization, allowing us to place more accurate constraints on short-scale isotopic heterogeneity beneath Hualalai. Well 